Hey guys, so today we're jumping into stage two of the Majin Buu Saga Red Zone event, the Buu Super, aka the Super Buu stage. Um, so they, <laughs> again, I have not looked at the typings of the characters, don't know what they do. Uh, there were some interesting mechanics in the first stage. We actually did have our first ever territory skill on global. Um, so there's definitely a bit of a different, um, I guess, spin on some of these stages in terms of the mechanics that the bosses are going to be doing. If we take a look at the art of the event, they do have the LR AGL Super Boot art here. So I'm going to assume that Super Boot is, is uh, AGL. So I think it's a good idea to bring this Vegeta. Now, I do have two STR characters, but these are very competent STR units. Um, feature Gohan and then the, the newly easy aid Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Super Vegito. Uh, so we're going to jump in with this team. Now, the only thing I'm not sure about is does Super Buu do an AoE? I guess we could assume he does because the LR Super Buu does an AoE. Uh, that could be an issue for sure. Uh, 100 per, like if he if he AoE supers feature Gohan, we, we're obviously going to lose. But let's just jump in and see what the fight looks like with this team. Um, I might have to make a few minor adjustments. Maybe we'll even switch back to the Rosé team that I used for uh, the, the previous stage. But for now, let's go ahead and jump in with this, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we might need to take a few attempts for this if he does actually have an AoE. All right, future going in slot seven is not ideal. Uh, let's just go. Um, I want to make sure this is off. Okay, cool. Let's go. All right. Yeah, God Goku's intro is not activated, but the thing with God Goku's intro is we don't really need it because it's only for offense. The orb changing is nice, but we can still get six here. All right, we should do this. So let's do this. Vegeta in slot one is probably what we should be doing, right? Yeah. God Goku will do this. And then we will do this. What's next turn? Uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, let's see. Okay, double digits. Building up. All right, let's see how much this does. We've not supered yet. That's, uh, okay. It hurt a little bit. Sure. Definitely did not... It didn't do zero damage. Uh, I don't know if this guy can super twice or anything like that, so we'll see. All right, Vegeta getting some stacks in. Obviously, that's good. Powering up the Big Bang as well. So STR for this guy. So this this guy this uh, evil boot is actually STR type. Like the actual unit of him is STR that we can we can collect. So that that is probably meaning that uh, <laughs> Super is going to be AGL, uh, which is not good because uh, we have some STR characters that can take a lot of damage. But we'll see. I forget what the what is the turn restriction on Vegito's transformation. I want to check because it's really important that we get that transformation out as soon as we can. The scouter can be really helpful. This guy's really taking like no damage too. That can actually be pretty good. This guy just like doesn't really take any damage. It'll allow us a lot of time to build up and stuff. We have a lot of stacking units. God Goku stacks, Vegeta stacks, the uh, Super Vegito character, the base Goku and Vegeta portion, they stack. So a lot of stacking it. Future Gohan has to build up by attacking. Like a lot of characters have to build up on this team. So uh, if we take all, you know a decently long amount of time to get this guy dead, that could be good. Okay, no double super. Okay, um, this could be an issue. Let me just check something here. What is their condition again? Starting from the fourth turn. Um, I think, uh, yeah, see the problem with King Vegeta is, I feel like we'd be okay if we put King Vegeta here because he's, he's really the only one who could eat a super and, and I think potentially live. The problem is he needs AGL orbs for the extra damage reduction, and we just got unlucky with the orb changing. 
He needs, what was it, four? Three or more AGL key spheres. 18% damage reduction. We can get him 18% by doing this, but... Nah. We, I, think, I think we have to do this. I don't think there's any other play here. I think, we ha I think this is the only play. No one else is surviving a super in slot one, so... Gotta do this, and then we'll just grab as much healing as possible with this, I guess. Uh, for these guys at the end, we gotta just give them all these AGL orbs. Uh, let's just... Yeah, let's just give him these. Oh, yes, has to do this. Alright. Don't super. Don't super. Okay, I think, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think. Uh, best case scenario is he supers King Vegeta now. Alright, go ahead. Oh, double super. If he supers King Vegeta, King Vegeta's eating this like it's nothing. Go ahead, Super King Vegeta. Come on. Come on. Yes, perfect. Alright. Whew, we, we're, we're, we're getting pretty lucky here. Oh, he lowers the... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, but he didn't do that. 13.9 million. That's King Vegeta support there. Okay, remember, this unit is also stacking. I think we're getting pretty lucky, honestly, on this first stage here, or this first phase here. Wow, their damage is looking insane. <laughs> look at their damage. I think we might kill here with the Super Saiyan trio. Dude, look at this. <laughs> what the hell? That's crazy. How much damage are Remember, this is stacking their defense, too. And then these guys are definitely going to kill, right? Yeah. Okay, that was a little faster than I would have wanted, I think. Yeah, I... Okay, Future Gohan's going to get mauled, isn't he? Yeah, Future Gohan's flying in. He's going to get bulldozed <laughs> instantly. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what happens. We don't know for sure that he AoE is. All right, so he's a mute. Actually, he could be attack lowered. No, he can't. Never mind. I saw the attack buff symbol, and I assume he could be attack lowered, but you know, like, he can't. Uh, I think we have to transform with Vegeta. 538. I think we have to do this. Let's transform here. It's just going to come down to whether or not he actually does AoE or not. If he doesn't AoE, we're fine, I think. Um. <laughs> okay, let's just go, I guess. All right. I mean, we go. God Goku has to get six orbs, otherwise we can't win. Maybe. Oh man, this actually might be the better way to do this. That candy is actually annoying. That's six, but <laughs> this is six, but <laughs> we're not gonna, we're not getting key to super. I, we have to do this anyway. This is the only thing we could do. That's literally the only thing we could do. He's guarding and has the dodge. Is this an, it, it looks like it's an AoE. All right. I mean, yeah, <laughs> future go on, dude. Right, I guess we got to take future going off this team. That's okay. Well, that confirms it. Let's go ahead and take him off. Uh, who do we put here? Just you for the revive chance. That's probably what we want to do just for the revive. Plus he has type advantage. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's try this. Same exact setup here besides that uh, future Gohan. This character could also be in jeopardy. So could this character. This is actually, this is rough because the like we don't really have a ton of. Who, who's gonna be good against AOEs here? Like almost nobody. 
I'm just trying to, like, who... Who would be able to take an AoE hit? Any tech, like, no techs? Let, let, let's just undo the tech thing. Um, I think AGL Go AGL Gohan? He has Type Avenger with the first phase. What if we did this? What if we tried this? Uh, let's see. Any, any int units here? Vegeta and Trunks. Probably not, huh? Vegeta and Trunks, nah. Definitely not any STR units, right? I mean, Kefla, but Kefla would have to dodge. Physical. Yeah, I think this is what we're gonna have to go with here. Let's try with this. Let's just see. AoEs are rough, man. Especially if they're gonna AoE in slot one. Oh my god, we got Vegeta in slot seven. <sighs> All right. I gotta, I gotta take off the intros. Let me just do that. This could take a few tries. I mean, at the end of the day, when you're dealing with AoE bosses, a lot of times it just comes down to whether or not they AoE right away. Let's do this. I think I'm gonna leave. I think I'm going to leave King Vegeta in slot 3. Just because I want to get as many stacks as possible with these characters before we get to the next phase. Let's make sure we get him damage reduction. A lot of this is going to come down to like timing when we transition into the second phase too. I mean, if we die again, I might just I might just bring some items. We'll see. We're doing AoEs, huh? Okay. All right, we are getting a bunch of stacks in here. Uh, this is the last super we can do because we don't have a Goku. I also just I'll, I also just realized we actually dodged the AoE with Vegeta in the last fight too. My Vegeta, I, I, he doesn't have that much dodge. Like he has a minimal amount of dodge. I want to actually check how much he has. I'm kind of curious. Nice triple super. That's really good. Three stacks for this Gohan. Super? That's taking some damage. Yeah, King Vegeta is going to be fine after three supers, type advantage and stuff. This uh, Evil Boo does take a decent amount of damage. How much dodge does my Vegeta have? Oh, he has 10. I wouldn't really call 10 a minimal amount. That's that's a decent amount. Okay. Uh, let's do this, I guess. Um. All right, here's the question. Do we leave STR Vegito on rotation here? I don't know. We're prob the safer play is probably God Goku just because of his dodge against the AoE. Okay, let's do it. Let's leave God Goku here. We want to make sure we're getting a stack with this tech Goku. God Goku. We oh, we got lucky with that. Okay. <laughs> and then we can do this. All right. Let's go. That's probably fine. That's going to hurt. That's before we get our defense. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Hey, we, we lost. Yeah, we lost. I don't think this this is not the stack is not gonna let us live this. Alright, so maybe this Goku's not uh, <laughs> maybe this Goku is not who we want to bring. Maybe this Goku is not who we want to bring. Or maybe we just want to float him. Maybe we, we maybe we bring him, but we float him. I'm gonna try one more time with this setup, and then if we lose again, I'm just gonna. What if we try this? Nah, but this team would get crushed by the AoE too. Doesn't really matter. All right, let's do this. And if we if we die again, we'll uh, start using items. Can we stop getting the Vegetas together? Is that possible? Uh, all right. So this, let's do that. Got Goku in slot seven is really bad, but sure, whatever. 
Uh, that's going to do a little bit of damage. 300k. Oh, we dodged it. Nice. A 10 dodge. Ten, uh, getting my mileage out of the 10 dodge on this idea. All right, so because we have a Goku on this rotation, we are going to get the extra super as well. One more. That's a normal. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Okay. These guys are going to get some stacks in as well. I think we're gonna you know what I think we're gonna need to do to kill this guy is we're gonna have to just we're gonna have to big bang him twice, I think. So I think we wanna make sure we're getting some as much this that that's why it's annoying that like having both Vegetas on the first rotation is pretty annoying, because it means we're gonna have to float one off. Which means that uh it's gonna not give us many opportunities to get stacks in for the active skill damage. But two, two type advantage, big, I mean, it doesn't really matter that it is type advantage, but we still, technically we are critting, but the big bang, like you, you're always doing more damage against type advantage, natural type advantage, right? So like two of those big bangs would do a lot of damage. So I think even like just one Whis probably would be enough to let us win easily. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. All right, thanks for the normal Vegeta, appreciate it. All right, I <laughs> kind of want to do this. I think floating this Goku is probably what we want to do, honestly. Um, King Vegeta, I think, actually would work better in slot one, to be honest. Let's do this. Doesn't really matter what we do with this Gohan. I want to make sure you get the stack. Best case scenario is he supers after King Vegeta attacks. All right, super now. Let's see. Let's see if he supers now. Go ahead. Double super, sure. Yeah, I did give my King Vegeta a lot of additional. Damn it. Is he really going to super... <laughs> supering Tech Goku? No, don't do it, dude. Stop. You're not supering Tech Goku again. You're not supering him again. Okay, I didn't super at all. Honestly, <sighs> next rotation is actually looking pretty solid. I, I would say, is it? <laughs> the the thing with uh, man, I, I think we have to push Vegeta off. I mean, he's dying anyway. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we want to make sure we're healing as much as we can. Alright, we'll scrap that. It's fine. Okay. Uh, next... So, in theory... In theory, next rotation should be decent, but I still think it's going to be rough. I do. Okay. Remember, we had to we had to float Vegeta because he was on the opening rotation. That's a lot of a lot of AGL orbs there. I think we have to transform with Vegeta. I don't think there's like an alternative here.
428. Same defense. Wait, the friend is not like level 10? What is this? What? How does he have... What? <laughs> How does he have a level 3 and a level 5 link? Alright, whatever. Let's just do this. That's going to be enough to get King Vegeta's damage reduction up. And then... I, what do we just die? Like, the question... If, if we... If we straight up die to the AoE here, like, there's not really much we can do besides these items. This is a pretty good setup here. I don't know. Like, there are not that many good tech units for this. Let's, let's see. Let's see. He is he always gonna just start right away with an AOE? Is that like programmed in here? All right, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Like, what what are we supposed to do? I, I think I think we're just gonna use Weezus. Okay, well we tried. All right, let's go. Weezus. Like, uh, all right, whatever. Let's just jump in again. Hey, look, we got uh, the Vegeta split up this time. Hallelujah. Um, let's do this. Is that better? Yeah, just leave like this. I mean, if the boss is like, so like the way it works is bosses have a certain percentage chance of supering with every attack they do. So I'm, I'm just like assuming that um, Super Boo has like a, like an 80% chance to super right away or something. So uh, basically you have to assume going into that second phase that he's always going to be supering right away, which is kind of annoying because he's an AOE. So I'm just going to use items. Okay. There's really not much counterplay when it comes to AoEs. Either your setup is good enough to live or it is not. <laughs> so uh, we will. Oh, this is gonna be like almost nothing. Yeah. So we'll just um, we'll just use item. The boss wants to be cheesy. We could do it. We could we could be cheesy too. I mean, I could just change the entire team, but that's not really what I want to do. I want to choose. I want to make at least maintain the spirit of the team here. It'd be nice if we could get Vegito transformed. Remember, he has guard. I also have no idea how much um, health Super Boo has because we haven't even had a chance to attack him yet. It's a lot of damage. It's like you're not good. All right. Uh, I guess we'll leave God Goku just because of the chance to dodge. Maybe Gohan is not the correct uh, pick for this. Maybe we should take Gohan off. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter at this point. Who cares? Right, Vegeta will get some stacks in. I think one of the problems is this evil boo has like no health. Like he's dying really fast. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't want AGL units. <laughs> so we can do as little damage as possible. Maybe. Maybe I take King Vegeta off. Is what we do, huh? And maybe we take him off. Take King Vegeta off, take Gohan off, and uh, just bring characters that are going to do like less damage. So we don't blitz through this phase every time. Alright, let's see if he gives us another one. A normal okay. All right, you got to dodge. Uh, they're, not, they're not supers. You don't have to dodge. Uh, I mean, Gohan will get some stacks, and I guess that's fine. Yeah, look, we're already we're already up to uh, we're already up to the second phase, dude. Turn three. So I just double weas? Like I don't know. 
Let me just check something. I forget what the condition is for this. Three or more times we're facing one enemy with eight. No. Okay, so I think actually what we do is I think we actually don't transform here. And what we do is we double Whis, and then we build up the Vegetas more, and then we just have the Big Bangs do insane damage when we bring him to below 80% HP. I think that's probably the better play here. And I'm going to float these guys off. Three. Same lineage. It doesn't matter. Let's leave this. We want to get this. Yep. Uh, yep, let's do that. And then let's do this. Alright, perfect. Alright, go ahead and AoE. He did not AoE right away. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding the, the, the one time I double Whis, he does not AoE right away. God damn it. I hate this. I hate this event. I already hate this. I already hate this event. <laughs> I hate this event already. A nice normal Vegeta. Okay, there we go. And that, that's from the uh, the guaranteed additional from Goku, I think. All right, so we got three more stacks, and that's actually a lot of damage. Yeah, this this su also this Super Boo doesn't really have a lot of HP either, actually. Huh. Yeah, I mean this this overall this phase is he ever gonna AOE? Did we just get like ridiculously unlucky in the, in those first two attempts? Where he just AoE'd right away? Did we just get really unlucky? Is that how, is that what happened? <laughs> he doesn't actually AoE that often? Like, what? What? Okay. I think it's- I think it's probably GG. Actually, you know what? It might be better... Okay, there's the AoE, but it was after everybody already attacked. It doesn't really matter now. I think it's better to transform the Vegeta on this next rotation, because we'll have the support from King Vegeta as well. Here's what we'll do. We haven't played this, so we'll just play this. Pretty good. All right, so yeah, that, that's GGB1. All right, uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Four links versus three. Okay. So, actually, he gets an extra attack for beginning hit once. I think we actually could kill here, honestly. Um, these orbs are terrible. Yeah, the candy is actually really annoying. Whatever, I'll just do this. All right, well, um, you guys can let me know what you think about this uh, second stage here. This was the Super Boo stage. Uh, this video is just, just going to kill him, I think. Yeah, I think we just got unlucky on that on those first few attempts where he AoE'd right away. I mean, look at this. Vegeta, Vegeta completely tears this guy in half. Like, he just, he really does. Look, he didn't AoE again right away. I think we just got unlucky, actually. The first, like, few attempts where he AoE'd instantaneously both times. Because he... In this run, of course, the run where I decide to use the, the the items, he decides to AoE at the end of the rotation where it doesn't even matter anymore. Uh, it's so annoying. Right, anyway, let me know what you guys think. That was the super boost stage of the Majin Boost Saga Red Zone. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.